Hi, my name is Leo and I'm on a mission to restore this historic classic sailing yacht Tally Ho. She was built in 1910 and I got hold of her earlier this year and I moved her up here to the workshop. I built this shed over her and last episode I started by taking the garbage off which were the lowest planks on the boat so I could see the keel timber. Now to get to the top face of the keel timber now I'm going to try and take the concrete out of the bilge so I can get a clearer look at the condition of that piece of wood. I've been trying to get the concrete out of the bilge here and uh, it's bloody difficult. So, someone's lent me a new toy. Hell yeah. So, now that I've got the garbage off, I'm able to jackhammer the concrete out of the bilge and just push it straight out of the holes here where the garbage was. It's really nice to actually see the keel timber here. Um, there's only about four or five inches of concrete, just got to get through another 42 odd foot of it. So I want to be able to see all four faces of the keel. So that means garbage off, concrete out, and if it's possible, lead keel off. <laughs> so far it's not looking too bad. There's a few shakes, and there'll be a few graving pieces where there's some damage, but um, I'm not gonna do much for the shakes because if you put a graving piece where there's a shake or a split, the boat goes back in the water and the wood swells up again. If that um, shake tries to close up but you've filled it with wood, then it's going to split the wood on the other side, if you see what I mean. You know, unless the wood is already saturated and it's not going to take up anymore, it's a bad idea to, um, to fill them with anything uh, hard like epoxy or a wooden engraving piece. Um, but what you can do is just fill them with putty or um, anything that remains soft and, and can be squeezed out when the wood um, when the wood takes up again. Look at those lines, aren't they beautiful? It's enough of me being a weirdo. It's getting harder and harder to get the concrete out as uh, you get further forward because there's less and at some point there's no gap between the um, second plank and the keel, the space where the garbage was tapers as it goes forward. So I've just discovered I think a new method of getting this concrete out and uh, it worked once and I'm going to see if it works again because if it does it might save me a lot of hassle. and I just pulled that piece straight out. I didn't even have to knock it. It just wasn't stuck at all.
All right, well, uh, we are, where are we? Deer Park. We're at Deer Park, and uh, it's very beautiful, and we're going for a hike. This is Megan. Hello. She's uh, my guide for the day, and we've just come up a long, bumpy trail, and what can we see, Megan? You can see Canada. You can see Canada. You can see uh, obstruction point out there. There's obstruction point, the, apparently. Uh, Hurricane Ridge. Hurricane Ridge. You can see the spit. Way out the high. <laughs> I hope you edit this. <laughs> so we can actually see where we live and where Tally Ho is. It's down there somewhere. Well, we're at the top. Hi, we made it. It's been a really strenuous uh, <laughs> half mile hike from the car park. We can barely breathe. How high are we now, do you know? Uh, it's like about 54,000 feet. That's the fries open. And that's Canada, beyond it. That's the Straits of Juan de Fuca. That's the Straits of Juan de Fuca, apparently. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm at the gravel pit and um, I'm here to drop off all the concrete from Tallyho's bilge. And uh, quite interesting, I'm going to be pulling into the scale in a minute. You can just see I'm in line behind some dump trucks. Uh, not not more than half a turn I'd say. Probably even less, but we'll see. Thank you very much. You are. You're gonna head straight back this way. Was it? Almost half. Cool. Since you've had to lift it twice now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, thank Edward, you. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right. Well, I've got all the concrete out now, and you can see the exposed center line of the boat, the four foot, the mast step there, and the keel timber, and that rarest, most elusive thing, a clean bilge. And. You can see there is a shake in the keel timber there, but uh, it's not too deep or too wide, so I'm not too worried about that. So I do want to take all the keel bolts out, but um, some of them are underneath this engine bed and um, prop shaft gearbox assembly. So um, I think to access them, that'll be the next thing to do is to take the prop shaft out and all this gubbins around it. Need a bigger spanner. That's heavy.
All right, well, I've got all the concrete out and the nuts are off the keel bolts. Haven't got any bolts out yet, but everything was generally going pretty well until earlier when I had a visit from the dreaded building inspector. So um, apparently a neighbor has complained about the shed over the boat. Um, the inspector was actually very nice and reasonable, so I'm trying not to panic, but um, I'm going to have to drop some plans and basically try and get a permit otherwise I'm going to have to tear the thing down. So they're coming back to actually assess the structure itself and decide if I can get a permit for it or if it's unsafe. So uh, I'm going to be trying to make sure it seems safe and is safe and doesn't look like just some crazy lean-to that some mad Englishman's built in a garden over a boat basically. <laughs> The, um, the shed's been cleared up a bit. So we are now in a very officious construction site and we've got hard hats and signs to prove it. See, safety first. I took this from some sketches I did before I built it uh, in conjunction with some measurements I took of it as it stands. Here we have the east elevation and Plan drawing from above. Sailor, where's your hard hat? That's better. I don't know if you guys have met Sailor before. She's 11 years old, still going strong. I just want to say a massive thank you to uh, everyone who's sent in donations. Um, there's no funding or sponsorship for this project yet, so it's just coming out of my rapidly diminishing savings from the last couple of years of work. So thanks for that, it's, it's very much appreciated. Well, wish me luck with the building inspector, and I'll see you guys next time, and I'll let you know how it goes. Cheers! <laughs>